Well, down to the last three models of the G.I. Joe series. Uh, we have Airtight, we have Duke, and then we have Stalker left. Uh, I saved the bigger models, some of the bigger models for last, uh, although we did get uh, Gung Ho and Bazooka. They're, they're, they're the bigger ones. I did the females um, off camera. I, I did put them on my uh, Instagram and also my TikTok if you'd like to go there and check them out, Doc Six Studios. Um, I showed them on there. They're just a little smaller. It's it, the, the bigger ones are a little easier to do on camera, but uh, go check those out to, to see what I did. I'll, I'll do a, a montage at the end after I finish these three. Um, and other than that, uh, we're, we're about done with the G.I. Joe series, and we'll be moving on. I believe I have... Uh, there he is. That's what's uh, next coming up. All right, let's get to it. Airtight is, uh, he calls for yellow, and I was seriously considering doing this Bad Moon Yellow Contrast. It's one of the newer, I think it's a single single pigment paint uh, for his yellow, but I just wasn't sure. I actually did a test model. Let's take a look. That yellow, it, it looks pretty good. You know, I mean, I, I like it. It just, it leaves some darker areas that I'm not real fond of, but... I imagine I could throw another coat over there or cover it up with some highlights, but that's a really nice yellow. So I'm considering doing that, or I'm going to consider just using the, the golden yellow uh, Pro Krill. So uh, stay tuned for that. I haven't decided yet. I'll let you I'll let you know soon enough. All right, let's do it. Well, I decided to go with the contrast uh, Bad Moon Yellow here, the single pigment uh, contrast color, one of the newer colors out from GW's workshop, or Citadel. So uh, we're going to give that a shot here, um, and I think what I might do is go back and highlight some of the areas with the Pro Krill, um, and we'll check that out, and we'll see if that works. So let's get started on the yellow. With this contrast paint, you want to use it pretty liberally. So for instance, it's, let's get it in there. yeah, that looks nice, nice and bright yellow. See that? See how it leaves the dark recesses though? Not sure if I like that, but I think if I do two coats, that will fix that problem. There we go with the first coat. See, it's a little rough. It takes a minute. You gotta let it dry to really see what it looks like, and then we'll probably end up doing another small, thin coat over the top of that. All right, let's let that dry. like and subscribe. Well, off camera, I did, uh, I did a little, I did some of the green. I actually did a base of the camo green pro krill and then I did a small mixture of the two for the light green US for a highlight and then I went straight US green, light green highlight. Um, and that, that's kind of how it turned out. I think I'll end up putting a little bit brighter green. I've got to do some black on the side of the helmet there. And I'm actually going to do a wash on the yellow and then touch it up with some Pro Krill. I'm, I'm not real super happy with some of the dark areas with the contrast left it's just too it's just too rough for my taste so uh we're gonna try and fix that i think what we're gonna do here is i'm gonna use some of this uh sepia shade uh from citadel i'm gonna water it down and i'm gonna fill in the crevices on the yellow and, and just darken those black areas up with that and then go over the touch up with the pro krill 
yellow. Let's do it. To show you how I mix the uh, the shade here is I put a couple drops of the regular shade and then I added water to get this lighter consistency and that's what we're going to use. shade it, it helped a little bit but uh, I don't I don't think it did the trick so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and continue with the backpack and the the gun and the face shield and a little touch-up work on the helmet and then we'll address the yellow after that we may end up going back over and just repainting that with the pro krill yeah these sometimes these contrasts they, they they tend to leave really deep recesses and shadows and patchy it's just looks a little rough for my taste so I think we'll end up going back, but anyway, let's get the the gun and the backpack, and let's let's go from there. There we went over the pro curl yellow M much better much better it's uh you know these uh contrast colors uh single are uh, they you've got to use a bunch of coats and i'm just not really a big fan of how they leave those dark recesses it doesn't really doesn't have the best coverage at least this yellow doesn't have the best coverage but it's still a fantastic color and i do love these paints for certain things but we ended up going over with the pro curl yellow and and that really did the trick that, that covered up those dark spots you can see it's not so choppy it's 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 much smoother and, and and that's what we want here so it worked out really well all right let's uh, get some highlighting done a couple little things and move from there
Well, there we have it, airtight. Uh, you know, this model turned out a lot better than I thought it would. Uh, the yellow oh, we had some issues with. We started with the contrast bad moon yellow single pigment uh, contrast color. Uh, this is good. It's a really fantastic color, but I, I like it for other things, not particularly this. Uh, so we ended up going over with the Pro Krill, which turned out great. It really fixed the issue. Um, and then I, I was, it was really drowning out the green. Now the green and the yellow are very distinctive. So that, that's what we were looking for. And at the end, I always use a matte varnish to give it a really clean, real world look. I, I really like that. It dulled down the metal, it dulled down the yellow a little bit, so it's not so bright. Uh, anyway, guys, the, it tur turned out terrific. We have two more models left. We have Duke and Stalker. Uh, look, looking forward to that, and we will be finishing up the G.I. Joe series. Um, again, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. Like and subscribe. Really helps support the channel. Thanks, guys.